My name is Valentin Mendez. I am in the 10th grade. I am 16 years old and I attend to La Progresiva Presbyterian School. Before I attended La Progresiva and came here, I was really, really in a bad situation. I was being bullied because I didn't really speak the language. Nobody respected me because I was Hispanic. He was struggling in the public school predominantly because he just didn't fit in. He struggled and he was bullied and teased because of it and, and he just felt like a like a failure. Lo llegaba a dejar a clase y los niños venían y tiraban una bola dentro del agua sucia y me lo llenaban todo de agua sucia. Y ya lo último fue que, que tuvo un problema bien serio en la escuela, me lo agarraron y me lo golpearon y nadie me dijo nada. Nadie me llamó. She moved him from one school to another school predominantly because nothing was happening. She starts searching and searching and searching. She finds out about the scholarship. She comes into our school building and she asks the secretary, I don't know what you're going to do for me, but I need help. After everything that I went through, I came to La Progresiva and it was a miracle. La Progresiva originated back in Cárdenas, Cuba in 1900. In the late 50s, when the Castro regime took over, La Progresiva in Cuba closed its doors forever. Ten years later, a group of ex-alumni decide it's time that we recharge this vision that Dr. Warden had, and the school now re-emerges in the city of Miami. I started fifth grade, and I came into the school in February 14th. Valentine's Day, and Day of Love, and like I felt loved by everybody in the school. And it was almost as if a light had gone on, and you saw this change in pretty much everything that Valentin, uh, the, his everyday actions. Para mí era Valentin con muchas tareas, Valentin en todo, Valentin en deporte. El ambiente era otro. Nadie me lo golpeaba, nadie me lo me lo miraba mal. Valentin's life pretty much changed. The majority of the kids. They all come from a Spanish-speaking home. A lot of their parents don't speak any English, don't understand any English. However, they've come to this country to thrive and to build a future for their children. The vast majority of these students are on some type of scholarship. And without the scholarship, the students wouldn't be able to attend a private school. Students that are in the Step Up for Students scholarship program are doing at level, or if not better in some cases, than their peers or where they should be at their grade level. So that's obviously very encouraging to see. Valentin is a great example of that story. And Valentin is just one of thousands of stories that we see here throughout the state of Florida. Unfortunately, we have a lawsuit that's standing uh, filed by the Florida Education Association, FEA, against the Step Up for Student Scholarship Program. If successful, we're talking about 70,000 students just like Valentin that unfortunately would have to be taken out of the school of their choice and have to pick a school that's in their district that in many cases they've left to attend a better school. Our organization, Hispanic Creo, along with many other organizations, are working hard against this lawsuit and obviously urging the Florida Education Association to drop that suit. Without Step Up, I wouldn't be here. Here, I really feel like I have a future. I have a future because I, I, I'm learning. El programa de Step Up para mí es, es, es todo. Schools like La Progresiva would be tremendously hurt if, if this lawsuit is successful. And ironically enough, back in, in Cuba, where La Progresiva was, was founded and started, was closed down by the Castro regime. And here in Florida, if again this lawsuit is successful, would be closed down by the Florida Education Association. We were called to participate in the Hispanic Creo Summit. Valentin was even able to speak at the dinner as one of the main speakers. Once we were leaving the summit, Valentin had told me, Miss, I really want to take my mom some flowers. He was just so overwhelmed by everything that he was like, I want my mom to have something from this. So he presented his mom with the flowers from the flower arrangement at our table. Cada vez que veo detalles de Valentín así me, me llena de orgullo porque tiene un corazón muy bueno, es muy noble.